Hello everybody and thank you so much for joining us today. We are exploring colour astrology for August and it is Sun Orange. So today we're going to be creating a wedding floral crown. So what it is, is a really loose and vibrant full flower crown and we're actually going to incorporate the colour orange rather than it focusing totally on the orange colour palette. Okay. So what you'll find is that it's very loose, very textured, and the bright vibrancy of the other colours help to sort of highlight the orange aspect. So this really bold statement of the design kind of embraces enthusiasm and joy. So and, and sort of playfulness and energy, which is what, what the um, Sun Orange colour palette kind of exemplifies really. So it's perfect for the bride that would like a happy, joyous, vibrant and fun day. So I'm going to use um, a selection of flowers here. So our orange variety is a spray rose and this is called Babe. Then I've got some beautiful blue delphinium. This one's called Atlantis. Now I have pre-wired some of these, but I will show you how to wire them up in a little while. And then we've got this glorious rose here beautiful cerise rose, a really chunky rose. This one's called Takazi. Then I've got a little tiny spray chrysanthemum. So this is a Santini chrysanthemum here. So this little button one is called Orenco. Nice, bright, vibrant, sunny yellow. Then I've got a red Hypericum. And then the foliage that I'm using is Soft Ruscus and some variegated pittosporum. Now obviously we can't complete this without our toolkit. So today's toolkit is obviously scissors, <laughs> parafilm, I've got some little silver rose wires and these are a slightly heavier stub wires I'm using. That's a 23 by 1.25 centimeter stub wire. Now what you'll find is if you can't get the longer ones, which sometimes you can't, actually tape them together so you elongate it so you've got a nice long um, stay wire to actually wire onto to create um, the crown. All right, enjoy.
So I hope I've inspired you to have a go at making this design yourself. I actually get to model it this time. <laughs> you can't say that about every arrangement. Okay, so top tips as always. So my first top tip is make the design up at the last possible moment because you actually lose a lot of heat from your head. So obviously that's going to affect the longevity or shelf life, if you like, of the design. Okay, top tip number two, when you're delivering it or getting it ready, boxing it up, lay it in a cellophane lined box filled with tissue paper that's wet Then lay it on there. Leave it somewhere that's nice and cool, obviously um, no lower than four degrees Celsius. So, so sort of like a cold environment really um, and leave it there until you're ready to deliver. And then top tip number three, measure the head size. Obviously I used my own head size on this occasion. Measure the head size um, of the recipient so you make sure it's an absolute perfect fit or create the design so that you can actually adjust it so it fits perfectly. All right. So I hope you've enjoyed what we've done for you today. As I say, I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves. Don't forget to like us, share us with your friends and visit our YouTube channel for lots more tips, hints and inspirational ideas. And stay tuned because next in our Colour Astrology series, we will be focusing on funeral work and we're going to create a Salix Willow cross. All right, so join us for that. And until then, bye for now.